Good morning, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Atlanta. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> I believe that the work that y'all are doing and the Color Congress is doing is so fundamental. We cannot do it alone. And, and you, you all gathering here today is a reflection of the possibility of not doing it alone. We believe in collectivity. We believe in working across difference. It is so, so, so very important. We want to design something that is really radical and aspirational, something more beautiful than just base equity, where we all have the conditions necessary to actually thrive. Uh, and then we wanted to tangibly identify the prototypes of that future, also known as like the first steps that we need to get to this world. In other words, this isn't a word, but I like to call it thrival instead of survival. <laughs> Imagine what's possible when we organize ourselves as cultural workers and understand our power as change makers, because I think the other thing that the colonial worldview has taught us is that as artists, we're just creators. We, we, we don't have the power to change the world. But we actually do because, what, again, what speaks to people's heart is culture. And in culture, we change worldview. So how do we become kin? How do we do this work? We're honest about our kinship. We're honest about the ways that we have been ripped apart from one another. We're honest about the ways that our stories have been pushed to the margins, and now we want to bring them together. We are living in the era of extreme vertical integration. Storytellers are paying for corporations to gain market dominance. I believe that we can and we must build the ecosystem we want from the ground up. It is undeniable there is space, there is audience, there is revenue. You all are making the space for these films. I believe in the creativity in this room to power collective, structural, and cultural change.